everyone my name is hemu now in this lecture we are going to discuss how to configure sd wan controllers like what are the configuration we have to do on uv manager what are the configuration we have to do on uv smart and what is the configuration we have to do into your v bond right so these are the things which i am going to cover now guys okay now let's try to understand all these things okay so this is our lab let me just start my v manager i'll start my b bond i'll start my v smart and i'll start my v smart 2 i will start all these devices i can also put them like this and let me just take the access i have taking the access of all these devices and guys i will just go through with the basic configuration i'll start with the b bond so guys default username on your all your controllers is admin and always guys remember here one thing if you will see here right now when i have entered admin right it is throwing this error actually system is in initialization state right now right so during the initialization state if you will keeps entering the username is admin and password is admin and if you have entered username and password in incorrectly around 10 times what will happen in that case it will lock the your device okay it will lock your device so what you have to do you have to wait and you have to wait for this prompt basically right now you will see i got this prompt system ready and once you will see this message system ready and after that only you can try to log in just hit here admin password is admin here let's wait admin and admin and i have once you will enter the password it will ask you to change the password so you have to enter again admin admin and you will get the access of your b bond now in your b bond you will see here we have a v is right why b bond you have logged into b bond but here you can see name is v is so guys your v bond and your v is they will share the same image just remember one thing okay once you will get the access of b bond what you have to do you have to type here confity so it will so you will go into the config mode now in your config mode you have to go inside the system because this is the configuration generally which you have to do in your b bond right you have to go into the configuration mode then system and after that you have to configure the host name system ip site id organization name clock time zone b bond ip address the same ip address which is this and you have to add the local local means this is the p bond basically after that you have to exit out and now we will start configuration your transport vpn 0 on this interface we will configure this ip address we have to go inside the internal interface we have to allow all services then allow sshd and net conf we will run the no set command and we will add one default out as well so it can able to reach till your p route and from p router it will able to reach to through your mpls and your internet router to your branches and to bus the internet right and i will also do the config for vpn 512 because i have to do the basic configuration for that interface as well right? so this is the b bond configuration now let's try to do the config here so what i will do i'll go here into my and i will run here host name is this is my b bond so i will run the b bond now i will define a system ip system ip is 9999999.11 
site ID, site ID is 10. Then organization name, here I have to define the organization name, which is CNETS. This name is similar across your SD1 fabric. All device will have the same organization. Then you have to define the B1. What is the B1 IP address? B1 IP address is 10.1.1.11, right? 10.1.1.11, but this is the B bond, right? So I have to add the local keyword at the end. I will define the clock time zone, which is Asia, Kolkata, because I'm in India. So I will select here Asia, Kolkata, right? And now let's see. So we have defined the host name, define the system IP, organization name, site ID, B bond, right? And after that, we have to just run the exit command. Exit out. Now go inside the BPN0 interface. And now you can see the interface is gig zero by zero, right? So GE zero by zero. I will run here, no shutdown. And I will define the IP address here. I will use 10.1101.11 slash 24 guys. We have to put the IP address into this format. So remember now tunnel interface allow service all, allow service, netconf, allow service, SSHD. These are the service which I want to allow, right? You can see I have written all these things here. Now exit out, exit out. I will add one default out, so IP route 0, .0, .0 slash zero and I will point this default out to a speed out right which is 10.1101.11 enter then exit out now BPN 5.1.12 interface this is the interface at zero IP address IP DSCP client, then no shutdown, exit out. And guys, exit out. One more thing in your BPNG, you have to configure like DNS address. DNS, press the question mark 8.8.8.8. Exit out, commit and quit. This is how we have to shape the configuration. And you will see here there is some problem, right? IBP0 IP route this address. So guys, what we have done when we have added the default route, right? This is the wrong thing which we have done. Okay, just remember any your BPN0. No. Because the actual IP address is this one. We have put the same IP to B bond, right? So if you will made any mistakes, guys, it will not take the commit. Commit and quit. And we have successfully done the configuration in your B-Bone. Now, if you will type here, ping 8.8.8.8. .8 you can check the connectivity till the internet. We can able to, and also try to ping to cisco.com. Let's see if DNS is resolvable. So we can able to resolve the IP address and ping is also working. So we have the internet connectivity. If you run this command, so interface description. So it will tell you on your at zero, we have got this IP address, right? from DSCP. Now, so IP route as well, you can check the routing details. So these are the few things which can we can able to check in your B-Bond. And like, this is how we have to do the configuration or we can say the basic configuration in your B-Bond. Now.